All right, well, we've ground enough down now to where I can uh, spot weld some a few places. I don't have a lot of welding I have to do on it, but there's a few spots that need some touch-up. Um, quite a bit of touch-up, but it's not a ton of weld. So it's going to take a couple hours to heat this thing up, but while we're doing that, i got some other stuff I need to work on, so we're going to hit that. Now, our friend Tom, who uh, provided us with this bench here, he let me borrow He's got a seven inch grinder, he let me borrow an old Milwaukee. And uh, that made things a lot quicker. But I've got to fill in some weld back here a little bit. And then up here I have to fill this in and hit a couple spots along the edge. And then uh, a little bit back here, fill in just a little bit more around the Hardy hole and the Pritchell hole, which I don't have to go into here at all. So we're not gonna worry about the copper cold shield on that. We're just gonna do what we gotta do. So. We're going to get heating this up, and while this is heating for the next couple hours, because <laughs> that is how long it takes, we're, uh, we're going to work on some other stuff here. It'll be probably a lot of time lapse just because it's hard to hear over that torch. But um, this is what it is, I guess. So, here we go.
Okay, so here's where we are at. We're actually at a really good point right now. <clears throat> so, I had this part a little bit higher right now than uh, we still have one little sway right in here. But I don't think I'm going to go, it's only about an inch and a half wide. I don't think I'm going to weld much more on this. I do need a couple spots I need to fill in where there's a couple little voids. Um, and back here we have a lot of leveling, a lot of truing to do. I have around the hardy hole pretty well repaired. We have to uh, do a little tiny bit of filing and get the rest of the cold shield out of there. Same with the pritchel hole. I'm not going to weld any more around that pritchel hole because this is such a thin part of the anvil. This would be the spot right here where I would overheat it. I only ran a couple fast beads on there just to build it up just a little bit. This had a pretty good crown on it down on this end, which I don't want that, especially with the uh, the guillotine tool sitting in there. That's a big tool, and I just don't want... I need it to sit flat. It'll work better that way if it has pretty good contact with the anvil face. So, we're kind of crowned just a little bit here. Not by much. Uh, maybe, maybe a sixteenth of an inch. I think I'm going to leave that like that, and as we work it, we'll check it again after the winter, see where it's at. Definitely want to uh, finish this edge here. I'm going to have to do a little bit more patching on here. And where these voids are along the edge on the bottom, I want to take care of those just so we have a solid, good solid edge on there. But uh, it's going a lot faster now. I, I know I have a lot of... A lot of little divots and voids in here, but that's just little spot welds all over this thing. So I'm hoping to only have to heat this thing up one more time. Um, I think I've heated it three or four times now. I have not taken it over 300 degrees. And so far we're still, uh, so far we still maintain our hardness. It's not bad at all. We can live with that. And I can tell I'm getting this surface a lot better because the hammer's not jumping from side to side so much. But that's pretty good. We got some... too bad. Now because that has not work hardened yet, that ball peen actually did make some really some marks on there but it's hardly, uh, you can't feel them with your fingers but you can see them. As we work harden this and probably by the time this thing cools off by tomorrow morning we won't make those marks on there. We'll buff those out of there. But. The edge is pretty damn good. You know, compared to compared to the horn. It's funny, we'll start out the next video on this thing doing the same hammer test after this is all cooled down. You'd be amazed how much harder this stuff is. This hardens up as it cools. And it's supposed to get to about a 58 Rockwell. So, anyway, that's her tonight. I'm sick of grinding. I've been grinding on this thing for the last two hours. I think it's time to go in, edit this pig, and load it up. So, I will see you guys on the next one.